So um, we just picked up recovery. Uh, the one about 40 feet down in the embankment. Um, when we got there, there was nobody else there with the vehicle, but the police officers and um, we found beer cans, beer bottles, so possibly DUI uh, rollover. It was off a uh, graded road, off the, uh, the canal bankment off of uh, 62 in Monroe. So um, luckily nobody was uh, hurt, hopefully not. And um, we're just out there just doing our thing, recovering the vehicles. Morning, sir. Yeah, yeah. Morning. So you were running the 12 ton, right? And how'd you go about getting this car back up? I rolled it over first, and then uh, once it was rolled over, I re-rigged it, winched it up with one line about halfway, and then re-rigged, brought another line, re-rigged, and I uh, did a two line on the way up just in case uh, it was too much weight for one line. And then once it was up, I pulled forward, and then I finished winching it up, and waited for everything to tow here. Nice. Fun stuff. Should have sent you with the GoPro. If you would have had a GoPro on my helmet already, it would have been recording. Three, three videos. Three, come on. I didn't call you in the shower this time. evidence always keeping the trucks clean On the last video, you guys saw me install these Wellen uh, wheel. I, I, don't, I still don't know how to pronounce them. Someone commented how to pronounce them, and I really do not remember how that was pronounced. So anyway, the lights. We installed those lights, and we had temporary wiring solution. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is show you guys how I wired that. I thought it came out pretty good. So we will go ahead and show you what that looks like. Came out pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and tip the hood back, and then we will show you.
literally just cleaned this truck, like wiped it down. It's already dusty again, not happy, but it is what it is. Anyway guys, this is what we came up with. As you can see, we have the light there. It runs down here, across the back side, all the way to that side. So what we did is we used these adhesive zip tie squares right here, and the key is to, oh my goodness, do you hear that? Hear that? We need to take a look. Let's take a look, because Darl is coming to town. Okay, we got a little standoff here in the yard. We got a flatbed trying to go out and the blue pea trying to come in. Who will move? Looks like the blue pea wins the fight, yes. As I was saying, we use these zip tie adhesive squares that are found at Home Depot in the zip tie section. And um, some of you guys were saying that these would fail over time. And I've actually had some really good luck with these adhesive squares. And uh, the reason for that, I believe, is using um, isopropyl alcohol to clean the surface that you're sticking it to. It's like paint. You need to prep the surface that you're sticking them to uh, to provide a clean surface for it to adhere to. So with that being said, I have used these adhesive squares on the uh, my old 35 ton that I used to drive to secure LED lights to the inner uh, boxes. And those are exposed to direct sunlight all day for the past two years. And those have still held and uh, maintained their stick to the side of the truck. So I'm pretty confident in these and uh, these are a lot lighter than the LED strips. So I'm pretty confident that these will do the trick. So now what we're gonna go ahead and do is get cleaning on the chrome. The chrome's got some uh, wet spots from the last time we uh, washed it that did not get cleaned up and the glass is a little dirty. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get some glass cleaner out and get the rotator all shiny. shorthanded on light duty drivers right now so we just got a uh, IPD Indio Police Department uh, call out for an abandoned uh, Econoline van at the Home Depot so I took the 12 ton over there and rear towed it on back it's been there for like a month or something like that so they finally decided it was time for it to be towed away so let's go ahead and take a look so as you can see this is the Econoline that I towed I already took the safety chains off uh, and the light bar but uh, I figured I'd show you guys really quick what we brought in here um, simple rear tow, brought it back here uh, to the yard for storage and probably going to end up taking possession of it. But anyway, uh, nothing, nothing, sp nothing spectacular with this uh, fine piece of equipment here. Uh, as you can see, the windows are all knocked out, windows are punched out over there, all the doors are unlocked, so it looked like it was stripped and abandoned basically. Uh, so yeah. 
So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get this unloaded and then uh, we'll see what else we can get our hands on. All right, everybody, well, just like that, the rotator has all the chrome nice and cleaned. All the tires have tire shine on it and the truck is ready to go down the road again, nice and clean. That's how we like to keep our trucks nice and clean. So with that being said, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video. Today was kind of a weird day. We didn't do any, uh, well, at least I didn't do any heavy-duty calls today. I did a few light-duty calls, um, but it's a Saturday, so it's kind of slow today. Good day to catch up on maintenance and whatnot. So that's what we did today. We got the rotator all cleaned up and did other few little odds and end things around the yard. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to go and end the video here. Hopefully you did enjoy the video. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments what you thought about the video. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.